All right. I am so excited about this today. It's called Air Parrot. And Sean, when I first showed this to you, I had the opportunity to use this over the weekend to test it out, to use it. And whenever you came in today, I told you I had something exciting. What did you think about Air Parrot? They've got a really sweet logo. Is that all you... <laughs> Is that all you thought? <laughs> no. Uh, well, well, that is true. I, I really like their logo. But uh, when Chad told me about this product, I was like, no way. This is this is exactly what we've been looking for. It's something that I've been looking for uh, for my ministry at my church. This, this is the missing uh, piece to the puzzle because we could put the iPad on the screen. We could put the iPhone on the screen. And, of course, at the end of the summer, Mountain Lion's supposed to put the computer on the screen but until the end of the summer what do you do you know a lot of churches are switching over and actually if you you can now with this last piece of the puzzle what this does is it allows a church to use an apple tv as a switcher they can switch between iphone they can switch between the ipad and they can switch between the computer and the only thing they can't switch between with a computer uh, is the uh, a camera Right. And so you can't put a camera out on the screen, but hey, if you pick up your iPhone, right. And you could l live stream that. Right. To the Apple TV. So, it's kind of a workaround if you're a smaller church this might work great for you and we're going to show you how that works. And if you implement this, this will cost you $9 for the program and it will cost you $99 for the Apple TV. You probably already have iDevices and you just saved almost $18,000 cuz right. HD switcher as we have we looked out it's going to cost 17 to 18,000. Right. If you want to download the software, just head over to airparrot.com and there's two choices here. You can try it as a a demo or you can buy it and uh, you can buy one license or you can buy a site license for $29. We went ahead and bought the site license cuz we have 5. And if you multiply 5 times 9 or $10 basically, you're looking at 50 bucks so you're going to save 20 bucks if you have more than just a couple computers. And let me show you what this can do. This is incredible. I'm if you'll look over, I'll have the other camera there. I'm going to go auditorium uh, TV. It's going to ask me for the password cuz we have one set up on our Apple TV. And then I'm going to push enter and you can notice on the screen I just mirrored my my screen here and it was that fast. Now here Sean take your iPad and bump me off. So this is going to be a switch, okay? We're going to go from my computer to an iPad. So he's just bringing it up and there was the switch to your iPad. It was pretty seamless. It was almost like uh, it goes to black and comes back on. Very nice. And now his iPad's on there. And now what we're going to do is show you our Pro Presenter. We have another machine that we're going to bump off. And uh, we're going to show you a Pro Presenter video on it. Now, we tested this on an a older MacBook Pro. It was Sean's. He's got a, it's a couple years old. It wasn't as powerful as the white MacBook, uh, the white MacBook 13 inch. And it didn't do as well on video, but it did great on everything else. And we tested it. And But when you get into the newer machines, an i5, i7, this thing is flawless. You can run ProPresenter. You can run everything on it. Here we go. We're going to bump it. We're going to use AirParrot right now. We're using our, our ProPresenter. We're going to show you ProPresenter just a little bit. This is coming off the machine that we use every Sunday for ProPresenter. And so Sean just types in the password here. And with one click, of course... On ours, we're going to play a video for you here. It's on there in black. And right there, we're going to play a little Uncle Charlie here. And so right there, it's playing the video. Now, Sean's going to go up to Air Parrot, and I'll show you this in a minute. He's going to start the audio. And so now, all of that's playing through the Apple TV. The audio, the video, everything, and it looks great. I mean, it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, and, and again, uh, as I said at the beginning, an i5 processor on the on the newer Mac Minis. We just have a Mac Mini, the very basic one, the one you get for $599. Very basic Mac Mini, 2011 model. And uh, it's an i5, and it's got 2 gigs of RAM. Nothing fancy. And it's playing it incredibly well. And... Um, it's got moving backgrounds, it's got video, it does everything you need it to do, and it's all wireless over a wireless network to an Apple TV. There's no wires connecting them right now. And so that's what it is about. And I, we can bump that with an iPad, an iPhone, and never miss a beat. It looks like you have a seamless switcher. Now let me show you a little bit what Apple... Uh, I mean, Air, uh, Air Parrot here can do. First of all, you can select, and I'm going to select this uh, Auditorium Apple TV. 
it types in the password because we choose to have a password as an added security during our service in case someone's on there and accidentally does something so it pops up and again you can see over on the screen that we're mirrored here and then we have some choices we can go to extended desktop which we use on the pro presenter so that you can have a second screen and so air parrot will only mirror the extended desktop right now it's mirroring one desktop and then right here you can start audio and then you can go to preference now the audio each time you hit one of these buttons one of the things we ran into is it will ask you to install a codec and reboot your machine so you're gonna have to hit this it will say do you want to install and it will reinstall and then you'll reboot or actually it will install then reboot and then again when you hit the start audio it'll do the same thing and then the only other thing to mention here is preferences if you're having trouble you can try this but we didn't found it we didn't find it helped no not really no it it really didn't do any good because when you went down it you know it didn't really bring up the quality it actually brought it down enough that we didn't like how it looked right so and then we tried the frame rate and it wasn't really helping so there's a few things here you can enable 1080p on third generation Apple TVs so if you just went out and bought one the last couple of weeks um, uh, for us the last couple of weeks but recently you can get full 1080p to the third generation uh, what we found here is when we tried 1080p it really slowed the computer down so we're broadcasting in 1280 by 720 and so that really doesn't help us you can stretch the apps to fill the Apple TV. We didn't find that that really changed anything for us. And then you can show your mouse cursor, and that will show your mouse cursor on top of the Apple TV projection. All right, so it's very simple. Sean, game changer or not, yay or nay? It's a game changer, Chad. Absolutely. I can see us running an entire media system right off the Apple TV. It just makes everything so much easier and uh, very, again, like Mac, user-friendly. Uh, one thing that we do need to remind you is that, uh, I think we said it earlier, but this will only work if you're working on a Mac computer. Mac computers. This only works on Macs. It only works with iPads, iPhones. You Android users and PC users, repent, for the Lord will forgive you. <laughs>